Gareth here. Welcome to this new video series where we learn to build mods for City Skylines. These are direct trips from my live streams on Twitch TV where you can watch and ask questions live. There's a link to the Discord below and please remember to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. The other button there will do if you're less keen. In this episode we'll look at building a simple framework project, getting some of the legwork done, so that anyone who wants to build a mod, including us, has something to work from. That said, let's get to it. Let's go and start stealing ideas because I want to see if this is... Uh, it's an old electrics one. I want to see which version of .NET they're using. Wow, this is an old project format. Uh, 3.5 still. I suppose that's going to help. So we w we'll stick with 3.5, I think. So first off, let's generate ourselves, let's go into um, documents, code, let's try and learn how to type, let's go .NET, new, and it'll come up with a few things, I'm going to say let's do a class library. And let's see what version we can target. We can target um, dash F, net 5 down to the net cores. I wonder if it, this will work with um, just going net 3.5 here. It just told me to go away. So that's fine because we can deal with this. In fact, we also, it's a good job that failed. Uh, made uh, skyline uh, skylines mod in template. Let's copy. Let's go into there, and I can't spell. Because I put an O in there that there shouldn't be. So that makes more sense. Let's drop back into that folder. And nothing in there. So let's go .NET new. Um, do we want to just do this? What I'm thinking is, autosave on pause. If I bring that across, add sort of a source folder and all that and do you know what i think we do want to replicate that don't think the src needs to be a capital s so i think that's probably wrong so let's go cd uh let's go and make the, that src folder that source folder cd into there and then dot net new class class library i'm not going to include a test project because can't imagine that many people doing much unit testing there. Uh, let's just go up one dot net new solution. Only because people might want to open this in um, Visual Studio, so I'll let them. Hi there, Araxi13, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Um, can we have a shout out Mingsy Rose for Araxi? Because I know Araxi streams and is a wonderful, wonderful human being. And yes, the um, the bot should be running Mingsy. I say should. You know I'm not very good at this. So if we sort of open this folder up here and Araxi, you're playing The Sims 4. Nice. How's The Sims going for you? Let me just jump across here. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hopefully you're building some wonderful homes. Okay, so we'll open this folder up. Uh, we have a solution file. It doesn't include any any projects. Well, I wonder if .NET solution exists. Ah, uh, you are doing a build. What build are you doing? Ah, uh, we're making a mob for city. Yes, we are. Uh, what have I got for .NET? Um, hmm. Add project to solution in .NET. Hi there, Holy Sorry from on. How are you doing? I've been very, very worn out, so... 
Yeah. But how was your Christmas? How was your New Year? How were your holidays in general? Uh, you're working on a house and working with terrain tools. Are the terrain tools... Um... Okay, it's starting at Slun. That works better. How are the terrain tools compared to the Skylines ones? Right. .NET Slun add. Cool. And what's the project called in here? It's called SRC, isn't it? Because I goofed that, so... Uh, let's just quickly rename that to... Sky... Lines mod. Just because I can. Sky lines mod dot CS proj. And then if we have a glance back into our template. Oh, hey, all done. I don't need that BIM folder nor that object folder. In fact, they're going to cause me problems at some point. So let's get them gone. Get them all gone. Yay! So we know that this requires net 3.5. And let's try a .NET build on here. And I'm expecting this to fail, I think. And it is doing it. We don't have the right targeting. Um, we don't have the right pack. Right, let's drop ourselves a readme.md in here. Um, I need to remember how to do this, but... Let's just say requirements will include this. So we'll try and remember it all. You like the city train tools much more, you think? That's fair. Have you played... I, I'm sure you've played like Planet Co Coaster and Planet Zoo. Because I think I prefer the um, train tools in those. They're really nice. Okay, so we need .NET Framework 3, uh, targeting tools for 3, 5, wow. Um, holy hecko. I don't even, uh, .NET Framework 3.5 on Windows 8 through Windows 3, through Windows 10. So, um, let's add those. Um, I can never remember how Markdown works. Do I have a Markdown Previewer? Mark it down and preview to the side. Cool. So. Dot net. Targeting pack. Okay. I apparently can't remember how to um, mark down. I don't know if anyone here can help on this. Dot net targeting pack. And then do I do that afterwards? Yes, that works. So, uh, you you sure there's a funny story behind that? Um, when Kaz went to what Mog made, he farms out. Hey, who's who says I'm making a mod for Kazcham? I could be making a mod for me. We don't all have to do as we're told. Some of us branch out, and well, I'm not a basement dweller to be fair. You know, uh, yeah, I think you know we'll stick with that. I'm not one of the basement dwellers. I, uh, I, I actually get to feed myself, and I get more than three beans of coffee in a week. So um, let's say dot net. Well, what does it say? Dot net. Um. Uh, developer. Pack for .NET 3.5. Um, and this would just be, um, yeah, an install. Okay. And we can do that on demand. So .NET, well, .NET Framework 3.5, I think, should work. And to be fair, I don't even think we need all of that nonsense. I think we could just say that that is going to be here. So let's get that done. Uh, I'm not allowed to live in Cash Gem's basement, apparently. Um, Minxy won't allow it, but you've even told Cas. Uh, Arax has bought Planet 2, hoping to get to play some at the weekend. Yeah, I mean, that sounds excellent. 
Oh yeah, all the basement. Oh, you think their jokes are axy? That's very interesting. Let's let let's say that they're still jokes. So anyway, that link that I've just put there will bring you to this page. Um, specifically, I think we're gonna go and enable it in the control panel. I'm gonna use this route. So Windows features. So this is something that you will have to do if you want to develop a mod. Uh, me and Brain uh, Brainless has done some very cool things for Cities in a Snap. I've kind of, I, all I do is get on the microphone occasionally and act like uh, I've got a gob on me. So we have that installed. Ah, okay, that's slightly worrying because that means that we're not... Hmm. Because I don't need the other features, so that's not the issue. Uh, for developers, can I get a targeting? Hmm. Let's grab that. Let's grab it this way. Uh, oh, runtime. Hang on, can I not get the .NET 3.5 targeting pack anymore? We could have a problem here. We could actually have a bit of an issue here. Um... .NET 3.5 targeting pack. I think I've had this problem before. So this is kind of a thing anyway. Let's go there. That brings us back here. Um, well. Um, doubly whelps. This, this could actually become an issue. And I wouldn't even know how to deal with this in a simple way. Uh, shout out Hardliner. Yes, hi there. I am Hardliner. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Do excuse me if I'm not keeping up with chat. Download multi-targeting pack. For that's the wrong one. Download .NET 3.5. Missing, missing that one. Nougat pack. Oh, hang on. Uh, build without requiring those. Uh, build on any operating system. Fortunately, they don't have a package for supporting a Net 3.5 target. Do they not? Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look at Net 3.5 on here then, because this could be not good. Um, so where are we going? Package location. Because if I can do this in a nougat, that's really cool. Uh, .NET framework. Hang on, they've got a net. Really, a net two zero and a net four zero. Well done, Microsoft. Well done. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Now, if I remember rightly, that should be fine. Because .NET 3.5 um, reference assemblies should just be 201s. Oh, there is a... Someone else has done a package. Um, don't add the new features. The reason we're supporting that 2.0. Uh, okay, so that's okay. That's interesting. So they're saying no on one of those. All right, all right. So shall we? Shall we trust this person? I'm a gonna trust someone here. I'm gonna suggest that if we go and copy that, let's just add that directly. And then we might not even need to. Um... Hi, ah, yeah, I need to add it to a project, don't I? Because I'm not in the right place. So, arguments project goes there. So, src slash. Uh, Skylines mod.cs project should do that. Not trust. I'm guessing hardliner that that exclamation mark there was a not. But hey, it's what we're going to do. So in theory, that might not be the case. 
I don't know how to comment in Markdown. Well, let's try a .NET build now. Let's see what we get. That actually builds. Excellent. So we don't need to do that. And it's fine. Ah, it was meant as a command, like, do trust. Yeah, I don't have that many um, commands. Okay, so that's cool. We've learned how to get a reference assembly working for that. So right now, hopefully, if we did public class, ah, it's a library, not an exe. That's fine. We don't need to deal with that. And the binary chucks the DLL and the PDB up here. Um, that'll do for that, but we're going to not use it. Uh, you should have known that a programmer would in interpret bang as not. Yeah, you, you probably should, but you know what? That doesn't matter. Because, hey, it's all fun. So, no, we don't need dot peak yet. <laughs> and by the way, um... I know uh, Hardliner has been shouted out. I'm Hardliner. Does stream some Rust development, which is something that you'll have seen on this stream occasionally. And he is making his own actor framework. So when we get back to working on the bot and start playing with actor frameworks for Twitch bots, we can we can draw from I'm Hardliner's learnings, or we can use Riker, or if we really wanted to, we could use Actix RX. But honestly, Riker looks simple. And I am simple. Either way, we have a mod. We have a class in here. Oh, here we go. Big, big, big mouth syndrome. Go on, hardliner. What have I said wrong? Because I know I've goofed it somewhere. I know I've done that. And for those wondering where the whole, um, where the whole overlay thing's gone, got rid of it, got bored of it. Uh, it wasn't lining up right, and honestly, I'd rather you just see more of the screen. So, we have something building. Now, if we go back to our cheat sheet, and by the way, we've already kind of got ahead of ourselves because we this one doesn't do the um, thing that we did. Oh, Minxy Rose going for a lurk. You enjoy your lurk, Minxy Rose. In fact, we can look at that. So we didn't have that package reference in autosave on pause. So that's probably something that I should add. And probably will at some point. But you'll notice that autosave on pause, we don't build from... In fact, we don't even have a solution there. So you know what? Let's get rid of that solution file. Let's not support that. And the reason is I want to encourage people to build using the build.fsx file. Now, I'll copy the whole thing across first and then we'll talk about how that works because honestly i only really want to spend as short time as possible getting this template project built and ready to sort of ship out to github because then i can nip for a comfort break and we'll go in for the actual thing so let's grab ourselves a build.fsx and let's just go through it. So, include packages and things. So, grab some NuGet stuff. This is the NUnit stuff. Do you know what? I'm going to miss out all the testing. I'm going to assert that we're not going to bother with testing in this. Uh, nice unlock, Minxy Rose. Pre-roll adds a back on, run an ad break to disable them. Okay, so I think it's going to be comfort break time sooner rather than later. Let me just get rid of the test target in here. Because I'm going to be a bad programmer and assume that everyone else is also going to be a bad programmer. So we'll remove that whole target from there. And then, of course, we can just go source for whatever.cs proj. Actually, this makes life so much easier. So just doing a little bit of upload of what's it in. Um, giving some streamers punishment for breaking mods, I may want tests. I will add them for my own mods, possibly. But, to be honest, unit testing mods is a bit tricky. Um, Hardliner, uh, the, most of this is going to be C-sharp. It's just the build script in F-sharp, because I can. Um, mod name, name 
here. That is definitely going to be a thing. We now don't need that end unit runner path, so we don't need to bother with that. And we have targets built and ready. So, in theory, um, if I just do .NET, let's just do .NET build. Uh, let's just do .NET fake build. And you'll notice that fake isn't installed in here. So we'll go .NET new tool manifest, I think it is. And then we go .NET install um, fake. .NET tool install. So I'm used to cargo again. And what we've done here... Don't at all reference project style can only contain blah, 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 blah. Mm. Okay. Um What are you moaning about? Cause I just want the tools here. Um Invalid Project Package Combination. .NET Tool Reference Project Style can only contain pre references of the .NET Tool Type. The tool package could not be installed. Tool fake fail to install. Hang on. Let's let's have a play with this. Uh, install fake build. Let's grab you over there. Getting started. Uh, .NET tool, yeah, oh, .NET tool install fake dash CLI. That might make more sense. So let's try that, shall we? And there we go, and it's propped up there. So if I now do .NET fake build, fact, .NET fake build dash T build. Because I don't want to do the install. Uh, this will pull everything down and hopefully make this all, all wonderful for us. K couldn't detect something, that's fine. We'll deal with it. I mean, if, so, if anything, I can set the build.fsx to use an older version of netcore if needs be. So let me let me grab a quick sip of drink. Don't tell Kazjam I'm drinking from one of these on stream. Just just don't. He'll he'll get upset. But that should be your sp ah, script is not valid. The namespace testing is not defined. Of course it isn't. I took that out, didn't I? Let's have another go at that. <clears throat> and we have something built. Um, packet resolved a F sharp core with that version, but fake runs with that version. So you know what? Let's um, let fake run. Uh, oh, hang on. NuGet F sharp. Core. You know what, let's do that. Let's let's be nice and get rid of the warnings. Because fake hasn't got an upgrade yet. So we'll try that again. Hopefully it will uh, just clear off for us. Um, why have you said that the last restore was up to date when it clearly wasn't? Because I would argue that that wasn't up to date. Uh, um, either way, let's kill that lock file. I think that's the problem. I do need to remember how to deal with lock files. One of those is I'm just going to delete it occasionally. I mean, once we've got the lock file made, we can commit it in, I think. Can we commit lock files in? Or are we best not doing? I can't remember best practice for that. We must do. Because that must be the whole reason. Yeah, we do. I'm I'm being a moron. Anyone, surpri anyone at all surprised that I am being a moron today, folks? 
If you are, you haven't seen me before. So it's going to grab everything again. We're going to build it all. And this time we have, we still have warnings, but they're due to the fact that we've got .NET 5 on. Yeah, that, that's fine. I mean, we could sort of install Netcore 3.1 and set that all up. But do you know what? I'm not going to bother. And now, I think I need to reload the window, don't I? Um, reload window. Because in theory, that build script should now all be very happy. So, here's the thing. Instead of building into this binaries folder here, what we've done is we've built everything into this build folder. At which point we need to have this be, again, we need to put the name there. So, copy that there, go bang, bang. Um, I do the PDB, I don't know if that's necessary, and the city's harmony. We'll talk about that one later. I think I'm going to assume that your mod is going to want harmony. I think that's the reasonable thing to do is is assert that you probably want harmony in this in this simple mod. Um, and one of the reasons behind that is that I want to start testing with no workshop on, and I want to see if I can build a debug install that includes everything from harmony for when i'm doing a debug build of the mod and by debug i just mean a no workshop me personal build plus it might help for if people don't have access to the workshop so say you've got the epic free version of skylines that came out i might like to make this work over there just because it'd be handy to have everyone's mods working on that build. So let's let's go through this now. Let's let's get to the point where we go through our um, our build file. So up here we've got grab stuff from NuGet. Nougat is the is one of the package managers that's used in .NET, and one of the package repositories. So we're using Packet to get the Nougat packages, because Packet produces the lock files and all that malarkey. Then what we're saying is, get the IntelliSent in here so that this file doesn't come up with errors in something like VS Code. Open a load of namespaces to get access to a load of stuff. Set up where we want to build into. Set up where we want to install into. So local app data. Then Colossal Order, Skylines, Add-ons, Mods. And then your mod name here. Now that's going to be something that we tell people to update. So in our readme file, let's go for um, getting started um, in build.fsx. I suppose we could probably do that. Search for, for um, mod name. Here, well, in fact, let's just go for rename the SRC, whatever. Uh, maybe make a constant at the top for easy change in WTF, bloody you, blubby. You might be right on that. You might very much be right. In fact, you are right on that. Um, Skylines mod dot CS. Raj. I mean, to be honest, we should be able to go on better to um, to ever you want your mod to be called. 
Because what we could do is work out a way of getting that file name. I suppose, you know. Let mod name equal whatever. Voidkamp is today, the 30th of February. Yes, Voidkamp, but please don't use that emote. I am going to say straight up now, um, any emote that comes out as that Pepe thing, I will be asking people not to use. Um, and I will I'll be deleting messages with it. It's just with how much that has been taken to... I defend. Um, it th that Pepe emote has been taken over by some rather um, unsavoury groups. Um, it it's become a symbol for things that it shouldn't. So, without wanting to get political, that is not that that emo isn't welcome. Unfortunately, um, I need to try and get to a mod dashboard, don't I? Because why would this work not work that way? Uh, da -da. Mute quickly, pause quickly. That happened a while ago. Yeah, why can't I get to the mod view? Come on, I know what I'm doing. Biggest lie told on Twitch, folks. Where's that one particular one? Uh, okay, it looks like it's been gone as well. Hi there, Conflict Cucumber. Hi there, Wineskin. How are you doing? Welcome on in, both of you. I think, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, come on. How can I not know how to use my own tools? Oh, well. Uh, Conflict Cucumber, any of the um, Pepe the Frog ones. In fact, I, I need to add those to the rules. Um, in fact, I can go one better. I'm going to add that emote specifically to start with. So that emote, you just won't get a message through with it. So that, that, that solves that problem. Right, moving on. Because we've, we've dwelled on that far too long for, for a quick request. And I don't want to make anyone feel bad or anything. Because everyone is more than welcome here. No, no, gosh, no. No, 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 no. Um... It's not a ban, and to be honest, if someone does something that's potentially bannable, the first time I would never ban someone. The first, unless it is like incredibly, obviously, humongously offensive. The first time I always assume that they don't know the rules or that they've had a momentary lapse, forgotten. And I, I'd rather chat to people like an adult rather than just go and ban them. Um... If people carry on, you know, if you were to now go and use that emote six or seven times in a row, we might have to look at timeout. It, it's that kind of thing. I'm not going to get, you know, rules heavy. I'm not going to get, you know, thou shalt not this, that, the other. Just let's be sensible. And on the few things that do have alternate meanings, let's be careful. And let's just be cool with each other. Let's not not be that kind of person. Um, I mean, Minxie Rose has a very good point there as well. So I'm going to say we're going to let mod name equal that. Because I might even have a better one. The rules of the holy hand grenade. Well, are we going to be counting to three wineskin? Not to four and five and six are oh, right out. Yes. Anyone would think we're in Antioch. Okay, so we have that mod name. So I can quite easily go and... Now, I don't like that at all, so let's go and change that to a sprint F. Because it's just going to be easier to work with. Let's go. Um, percent S there. Percent S at the back. And then... Just murderate that lot off. 
What's the mod? Uh, Wineskin, at the moment, it's more a... What are you moaning about? Ah. Because, of course, it's not a topple. It's just what it is. So, what are you now moaning about? You're not a function and cannot be applied. Oh, come on. Tell me I know how to sprint at things. Might actually be moaning about the um, brackets there and that. Okay, that makes it happier. Oh, I forgot how to F sharp. Blob, I've forgotten how to do anything. I'm only playing about with a build script at the moment. So again, we've got this issue. So let's do another sprint F. Let's get some practice in. Right, how to sprint F. Because I don't know if we've got format strings in F Sharp Core 4.7. Remember, this isn't working on the newer stuff. So, dot DLL. There, let's go. Percent S twice. Um, we'll go. Build directory. And then, instead of that, just go for mod name that one is going to be um, just the PDV version and we're there uh, this is classic goof yes it is uh, conflict cucumber please do ask questions if your brain's getting hurt that is something that we need to fix uh, wineskin just ah yes the one welcomes Yes, we have a little Lucifer bot. So we now have a mod name, which is mod name here. Now, call me crazy, but let's assume that there is only one project in this folder. Can we grab... Can we grab that name with the F-sharp build script? I would like to believe that we can. So how about... Um, let me... Because I do need a short comfort break. I know we haven't been streaming long at all. But, you know, my body is still my body. You'll get used to that one, folks. Uh, if you're not already, if you're newish around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a short comfort break. I'm only going to be like three or four minutes. So I will see everyone very shortly. Right, I'm back, folks. Um, me sure as I'm probably going to try and stream a bit later than this some Fridays like starting around now or in the next hour wineskin hang on let me catch up with chat <laughs> been a while since you last heard that music blub yes wineskin you made a coffee did you make me a coffee too because I, I i drink coffee as well you know uh conflict the only coding you've done since school and you made something go around in a circle but what language? That was the interesting part. Wineskin, uh, as much as you'd love to know, you've learned your lesson that people don't appreciate the coffee that you make and just ruin it with all the sugar and cream. Um, sugar and cream's fine in instant. You have nothing against people putting sugar and cream in coffee, but you spend a lot of time roasting and brewing your coffee that's best in your black. For everything else is instant. Yeah, I kind of agree with you on that. I run instant coffee here with almond milk and sweetener. But no, when, I, when I'm doing proper, even when I'm doing filter coffee, I tend to not bother with that stuff. When I'm doing, you know, if I'm putting the effort in to make, you know, an espresso or whatever, I'm not going to do, no, no, no. I'm, I'm with you there, Wineskin. I'm absolutely with you there. So the question is, can we grab this name? Well, we can grab... The project we've already proven that so let's let's do this let's up here go and grab that globs and then say for uh can we get a single project um project start first Is there a first? Or is there a... Oh, God. We could actually... 
have from here. So get those, build them. So project in project. Oh, uh, you feel so noticed in this chat room. Excellent. I like to chat to everyone. Everyone that wants to chat, I want to chat back to. I want to chat with as well. Everyone who is lurking, thank you very much for the lurk. As always, we, we love our lurkers, we love our chatters here. Do I know how expensive coffee makers can get? Some are selling for around five grand. Um, I know that you can get them for about ten. I also know that you can get the AeroPress, which if you want a reasonable coffee that in a small thing that you can make anywhere, you can pick up an AeroPress for 20, 30 quid. You can pick up filter coffee machines for about the same price. You can pick up inexpensive espresso makers for the right side of 100 quid. You don't have to spend a fortune on coffee making kit. You really don't. At home, I mean, even a simple pour over kit. You know, just grab one of those, um, one of those, you know, pour over kits that you, they keep saying, oh, you can have our V60 kit for free. If you buy some of our coffee beans, well, just grab that, use their coffee for a bit, and then investigate your own coffee. Coffee grinders, you can get hand grinders, which honestly is all you need for not huge amounts of money. I mean, it'd be remiss of me to point out that if you take the handle off a hand grinder and attach a drill to it, you've then got an electric coffee grinder. Just remember to go slowly with your drill. Now, I'm, I'm not saying I've ever done that before, but there is a coffee grinder in this house without a handle on it. I wonder why that might be. Oh, bad coffee's not worth it. Good coffee is. Going back to the roots by making coffee from hand. Are you planting it as well? Right, let's just have a look at this. I glob bean pattern. Fake. I just want to try and do this as well while we're chatting. So an I glob bean pattern. We get that. You have base directory excludes and includes. Uh, glob bean pattern is that lot. So we can create one of those to include files. Um, honestly, let's just have a look at fake IO file system. Can we get the docs up for fake um, IO file system? Apparently, we can. Uh, we can get globbing pattern, we can get file filter. Uh, in the globbing namespace, we've got file includes for our globbing pattern. Operators, so that does that. Then we can just grab the project files. Um, we could. Well, if we've got the files, can we do anything else with them other than just a loop over? File.delete all takes a sequence of string and goes to unit. Okay, so that can be a sequence of string, can't it? So there's something on that. Wine skin, you spent 25 bucks on a hot air popcorn popper and 30 bucks on an AeroPress. Perfect. What more do you need? So we could actually do something like. Um, like project equal that, and then we'll probably go to um, and do the upcast. Seek of string. You're going to moan at me. I'm going to say replace. You're going to be happy with that. And for now, let's just go, <clears throat> I don't know, target, oh, let's just go and make a funny, a funky target. Target dot create um, debug 
And let's just say that what you're going to be is a function. Uh, you're going to take nothing in. We'll go project um, for project in projects. Something like that, isn't it? Uh, there's a do in there as well. Why not? So for project in project, let's go printf and um, project. Why not? And this is going to moan because string, yeah, so we just need to do the old that trick. And if I go debug here, that's up to date, nothing left to do. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's done that and where was the printfm please uh, it's not going to do it is it oh it has it's done it it's got me one cool so it gives me that file as a string so one thing we can do is we can say well how many have we got so projects dot count or dot, hang on. Seek dot count. We could do it this way. Count by. Uh, is it is it length then? Um, print fun. We have projects and then of course that needs to be like that happy days let's just check that it says we have one project just to double check that and we do so that works so we can do let me do a thing so we have that set up ready oh grand is a personal preference 15 bucks to three grand yeah uh total 85 bucks for your setup five bucks per pound of raw beans country of your choice and you're off to the races that is excellent wineskin do you have any um any resources on using a popcorn maker to roast coffee with because I'm getting to the idea where roasting our own coffee here might be quite fun. Um, oh, conflict cucumber and Mingsy Rose are talking about ketchup and steak. Which are two things that should never ever mix, but sure. Oh, what's all this then? Hey, Grumpy Game Dev. This, this is a language called F-sharp. I think you might have heard of it once or twice. You'll try and send links. Uh, Wineskin, I think you can put links in chat here. I can't remember if I allow that or not. If I don't, then we'll... Mm, do you know what? Let me know when you've got a link ready. I'll hit the permit just in case. Let's make this simple. Um, yeah, this is, this is a language called F-sharp. It's an F-sharp build script interesting isn't it um yeah grumpy game dev welcome on in um the grumpy game dev is also a streamer uh used to be known as one of the f sharp streamers when we both streamed f sharp now i've kind of moved away to rust i'm doing c sharp for the mod and i play some games i think the grumpy game dev at the moment is working in c plus plus with sdl2 Hang on, drink time. So we can grab those projects. So let's say, let's suggest that if, um, if that is, well, actually, Is there a single? There is. So why don't we just go print fun? Let's do this. So 
Oh no, that's completely wrong, isn't it? Singleton. Oh no, okay, that isn't how it works. First should be in here. Exactly one. Returns the only element, exceptions, goes bang. So goes bang if there's an all, goes bang if there's the wrong amount. Okay, that could be handy. Because that all of a sudden just makes that much simpler. And we will say, well, oh, hang on, projects. Let's remember how to program Gareth. It would help. Conflict Cucumber wants a steak. I can't be bothered to set the sous vide machine up at the moment. And we don't have any steaks in. That's two things we've goosed. Okay, so that is giving us just the Skylines mod. What happens if I were to create another file in here called um, spoopy.csproj and try and redo that build? It would probably go bang. And it does. Cool. Uh, we want it to go bang in a different way. The other thing I want to do is take that out of a target and just do that for now. See what happens there. So let's try the build target. I think we should probably have a prepare target, but sure. No, it's it's actually doing it there anyway. Uh, Minx Rose, the reason we have no steak is I refuse to buy steak from a supermarket when, at some point, when things get quieter, we could nip up the road and get a steak properly. Why get supermarket steak when we can have steak straight from the abattoir? Just, just doesn't make sense, does it? So now that we know that this runs anyway, we could do something silly where we go you know what match um because i reckon i could upcast that to a list or we could even just go and shove that through a uh, list dot of sequence if we really wanted to uh what type of mod is this at the moment conflict this is not a mod as such I'm just developing a kind of template mod making project so that I can bang this up on GitHub and then people who want to make mods can work off it. And then I shall be making a data collection mod. So something that will pipe out the, you know, the population numbers so that you can chart the growth of your city or pipe out other numbers for you so that you can look at your city stats over time. Uh, Minxy Rose is posting Amazon links. What is Minxy Rose posting an Amazon link to? That looks very much like it's going to be... Oh, that is a, air pop, a, a hot air popcorn maker. Yeah, that's also in America, Minxy Rose. That's, that's kind of a long way away. And we can get hot air poppers pretty easily. But it's learning how to use one to roast coffee with. That's that's where it gets interesting. So let's go and match projects with well, let's say it is within this, isn't it? So we'll go for project that will go to something and then um anything else will go to fail whatever don't care how it's going to happen let's write the failure case first um suppose if we just go projects uh let's do project name first at some point uh the reason you recommend is 
that one is after many testing it's because it uses centrifugal air rather than vertical air nice we can we need more kitchen gadgets minty rose we have far too many kitchen gadgets you know this as well as i do we struggle to keep things we struggle to find room for things in our own kitchen and when our kitchen is the size it is that's a bit silly so we've got the project we can do what we want with that let's say um file dot well we can get the file info can't we file info dot off path that gives us a file info and we can just get name which is well, it doesn't tell us actually what that name is, but sure, we can do that. Let's um, let project name equal that malarkey. So we'll go there. Uh, you're pretty sure that one would make popcorn very quickly for a short while in Europe? Um, it depends if you've got the transformer or not, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably only once. All right, see you later, Conflict Cucumber. Thank you for dropping by. And of course, you know, feel free to drop a follow or whatever if you haven't already. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up, have I, with any of this? If anyone has been dropping follows and I haven't noticed, I do apologise. How's that sound? Anyway, let's uh, let's get back to it. Let me just swap over some windows. So we now need to work out how to do a disgraceful build failure. I'm pretty sure that if we went into not the getting started, but into uh, namespaces, there would be a pretty easy way of going for a failure. Uh, just do fail with. Okay, I will do that. Fail with, uh, please have one and only one project in the SRC, SRC directory. And then we try that now with the two projects in it should go bang you're already following you're ahead of me conflict cucumber that is exactly what i wanted to hear that is excellent so we've reported the error with that let's delete that spoopy cs proj and the build should just go through and because we've now got that project name why don't we just say that it's now called mod name and we can kill that print off as well and as if by magic we don't need to use a magic constant in here we just you just rename that project file so you don't actually need to do that um run um we need to run dot dot net tool restore to get the build tools needed for the project i think it's dot net tool restore dot dot net tool restore let's make sure that i've got it right and i have because that was a successful restoration this is good news in fact this is very good news <clears throat> there we go so we've got that done um i would suggest run dot net fake build t build to um 
to build to compile well your mod and then we'll say run dot net fake build install to install the mod in to your city's game into your city's skylines okay so i think we've got most of a a mod template built except obviously we've got we, we want to deal with someone having city's harmony mod so let's have a look at the city's harmony mod and how we implement that so here we go we add the nougat package to our project well, this is good i can do that reasonably easily let's do that quickly uh let's just do you know what let's just grab the package reference to that dump it in here under there um and you know what a dot net build just to prove that this will restore the packages for us let's do the fake build the last restore is up to date nothing left to do there however we get a build here so it has should have pulled down um harmony has it pulled down harmony and is there a way that we can get hold of that from anywhere obj debug it's not in there release it's not in there okay so we might have more work that we need to do here before this becomes committable uh hi wine skin uh you wine skin you miss coding thank you for the coding streams um they're not going to be hugely often but hopefully once a week i'll do something on stream be that programming or be that doing a bit of gaming but no th thank you very much for your kind words and hopefully you'll do a stream where you roast coffee because a coffee roasting stream would be cool do you stream actually anyone if you're in here and you do stream please please do let me know uh minxie rose you're hoping that i'm aware at some point i'm gonna have to test this in game yes i am minxie rose and this is why i want to do a little bit more work up front before i test this in game because i want to see if i can test this in game without having to use the workshop in steam because if i can say you know what loads load skylines up without um if i say if I, if I can load skylines up with the no workshop option and still make the city's harmony mod work then that would be really cool because it'd save everyone a lot of time because you could just have the vanilla game plus your mod so let's let's sort of carry on around this so we've got that nougat package installed um it includes the latest version of that plus that so have i not got a the harmony.dll files let me have a look in here because i'm convinced that that's something that i should have um let me search for that no i didn't want to search for files uh, for f text silly so and so i wanted to search for actual files because as i can tell i don't know if i've got that harmony file and again i want to make this very very easy for people to use I uh, can't see it there, can't see it there. I wonder if the linker just rips it out. Let's let's sort of go back and have a look at auto save on pause and see what that does. Because this is far more complete. Uh, does this have 
yeah does this have the uh, the right thing let's go and have a glance in the binaries no uh, the build folder just goes and grabs us all of that and this has yeah this has a reference to a few things as well as cities harmony and lib.harmony so if i were to bang in the new in fact let's have let's let's try this because i want to see what happens if i try and just build autosave on pause with this new package reference in let's let's play about with this so if i stuff that in and then go uh .net tool restore so i think i did this in this one we'll find out soon won't we uh .net fake build like that and let's see what we get in our bin folder or in our build folder that zero harmony does come through and that wasn't grabbed from any of these okay so let's see why that is well, we've got a configuration cs we've got a mod.cs well let's grab let's put the skeleton of a mod in then so let's sort of stuff these grab these and essentially the idea being that i want to uh do i want all of these necessarily yet i don't know but i'm going to keep them anyway let's see what the build does now let's see what we get in this build folder we get all of those we don't get the ones for from the harmony api um where is this way we do so have i got to i mean the next thing i would suggest is i'm just going to steal more bits again this isn't really the learning part of this so don't don't really get overly hung up here because we're just gonna blast through this as much as we can i just wanted to see if at, at what point the right thing has come through look we get these uh, dll's here we can play with these later we will play with these later so the next move is let's have a glance at here let's not look at all of this stuff but i use a mod is i cities loading extension bases i cities ah we have harmony helper here so let's just implement this uh what's loading extension base not sure i use a mod is just got a name and description let's grab the bits that we kind of want which is just going to pretty much be that and not much more uh, let's jump across to a source folder which is there class one.cs which is now not going to be called that at all uh, the namespace is going to be called probably skylines mod you're going to moan about a couple of things so you know what using i cities for that and harmony helper is going to want to mm, okay that might be where we need um the lib harmony one so let's go dot net lib harmony 
think it's called. Well, first off, it's ad package, I think. Couldn't find it. So I'd obviously got this wrong. Let me go and have a look at where we're going with this. Because we're obviously going uh, lib.harmony. Okay. Lib harmony. And of course, with that done, it goes in and where's it put that? Oh, let's put it in a silly place. No, you can go there. Let's keep this tidy. And hopefully that then learns what it's supposed to do. Yeah, using cities harmony.api in there. Patcher, where's Patcher built then? Uh, that's not yet done. So to be fair, we can just quickly go comment that lot out. That being said, let's redo this build. Um, .NET build-t build. Uh, .NET fake build, of course, because we're not using MS build here. I suppose we could have written this all in MS build, but honestly, not going to bother. Right, and we get all of the DLLs that we actually want. Excellent. So what I'm going to say is the instructions tell us and tell us quite clearly that we do not copy that. Let me gently suggest that the Harmony mod can go away and I'm going to just do it anyway. I'm going to suggest that we do we do that. So I mean here's here's kind of the plan. Let's let's grab this example pack patcher class. Let's just build the essentially the example. So we'll grab that, we'll say to you, you know, no longer need need to be commented. We'll no oh, it formats on save now, doesn't it, for us? The file name just needs to be uh, mod.cs, because why not? Using system, apparently we don't need it, so let's not bother. Uh, name, your very own mod. Does something interesting, honest. Okay, so we've got the bare basics for a mod here. Your harmony idea is going to be, well, we'll keep it with that. You say you want that harmony, so we'll use harmony.lib there. And let's then just jump you across to your own type called patcher. And that all works nicely in theory. <coughs> So we can do manual patching or we'll just patch all with patcher there. For now, all this is going to do is, well, if we build, install this and run cities with no workshop, this will fail. This mod will cry. What I want to do is see if we can find a way of making this work. So let's do, let's do a .NET build. And the reason is that we're only we are going to be copying that and nothing else. So let's do a .NET fake build, sorry, which will run the install target. So we're now building and installing a mod into the game, except we apparently aren't because we can't get ah okay. So the name, that file name is wrong. That file name includes the extension. Um, so can we get a file info name without extension? That's the first question. 
so file info class um, name the name retrieves the name of the file can we get it without the extension though oh gosh do we need to use a file path or something like that I wonder if that's where we need to go yeah c sharp get file name without extension <laughs> sure why would he not be path.get file name without extension well that kind of makes sense i know we're doing we're searching in c sharp land but really it's close enough and you are not defined let's open what namespace are you in let's not do it windows tab let's do open system.io why well, actually what does oh there is a fake io path all right Oh, hang on. What's going on there? Dot change extension. Uh, goes from string to string. Okay. So normalize file name does what? Don't know. So I suppose we could just do something from here. Let's let's go and have a look at the fake um docs then shall we let's suggest that we go fake io file system or even uh, go away modules io file system maybe get a file path you don't have much on you lobbying pattern extensions file we can grab a file well, there's path that hasn't got what I want in it. Path combines, um, change the extension, has extension, is directory as file, is valid file path to relative from. Uh, hang on. Change extension could work. The reason is we get. We get that, don't we? So mod name now needs to be um, file dot, uh, file path dot change extension. And you take the extension and the file name, don't you? Okay. So that says get the file, change its extension to nothing. And then down here we just do Well for now we can do that. I mean what we ought to do is just do the path combines and all that. We won't yet, so let's just do a fix me. Or a to do even uh, um, rework this using fakes path module. Okay, we'll get a to do in there. That works. 
in theory that works at least. So next up, that should now all build. So let's try it. Let's see if it does the install and everything for us nicely. And it didn't. Why did it not? Because does uh, oh it. it, it It still wanted the leading. Okay. So. That's easy enough to fix. Because we could just do that quickly. We might just get bullied into doing this properly. To start with. Let's have another go. And we've apparently built. So if I were to now fire up Skylines. Uh, let's go into Steam, let's remember how to do this with no workshop. I think it's pretty simple. I think we just go properties, launch options, no workshop. Uh, let's quit that off, whatever, fire you up. <coughs> Hit play. We'll have a look in the content manager see if it's fired anything up from the workshop i'm expecting this to bomb out horribly at some point and if it doesn't i'll carry on writing code until it forces the bomb out but i think it will bomb out horribly at some point so we've got the content manager we've got mods we've only got my one it's here and we've got your very own mod. So this is the one that we're writing and it goes bang. So it's saying we start without that or manually download the Harmony mod from their slash releases. This is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets pretty horrible because I'm going to suggest that releases doesn't even exist here. And I will manually type it to prove it. And there are none. So, what do we do, folks? Well, it suggests that we do not copy that. I wonder if we are supposed to, or if we are supposed to pull this down and build it manually. I mean, let's just double check that this goes to the correct place. Uh, Cities Harmony dot API um, Harmony Helper. Um, yeah, no workshop mode is going to point us to where. Because I might have got this in the wrong place. Subscription warning is you can manually download it from that URL. So I am actually going to do this, go to this URL, and again, I am going to assert that you can't. So I absolutely think there's a bug there. So how does this test for the Harmony mod? Because if this tests nicely, then we're going to be happy and vote uh, on Harmony ready. Uh, how do we check it? So if we've got no workshop, can't do that. Uh, plugin manager needs to be. We don't. I don't think I have access to that. But let's grab. Let's have a look. Is plugin manager a thing? I know. Where does plugin manager live? Or where does it come from? That's the same fault file again, wasn't it? Who gives us plugin manager? That might be colossal framework plugins. Okay, so I want to ensure it's installed. If not, is Harmony installed? Where is Harmony installed? Is Harmony installed? You should be in Invoke Harmony Installer. Which goes grabs that tries to run it so 
So, Cities Harmony dot install. Let's have a look. Right, let's have a look if we've got that from somewhere. If I just crack open, and in fact, let's do this zoomed in a bit. But if I go to Documents, Code, Skylines, Modding Template, Build. This is the fo this is the file. It's saying not to copy now. I wonder why. Let's find out. Let's see what's in there. So what are we looking for again? We are looking for Cities Harmony dot installer. So I don't see anything Cities Harmony related in here. You can see Harmony Lab. Um, but if I just search for cities in there, we get, we actually get more than I thought we would. But we still don't get a fat lot. So let's open up the um, citiesharmonyapi.dll and just see what that gives us. That gives us citiesharmony.api. So we don't have citiesharmony.installer. So you don't, hang on, let's just zoom out. You don't seem to exist. Um, hmm. So we're, we, we have a bit of an issue. Let's go back to master. So, why is this not going to play nicely? The The ultimate thing is, we might have to accept that people have to test this with, um, with Harmony. Um, with, with everything in, with everything set up on Steam. That's annoying. Um, have you got another... What repos have you got? See, Cities Harmony is the assembly provider mod. You've got Harmony for that. Uh, ultimate level of detail, network skins, yada yada. Um, by the way, yada yada is the, the, the nice way of putting it rather than blah blah blah. Yada yada is more good stuff. Blah 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 is more or less good stuff, I think. But this, ah, this is its own mod. Okay, here's an argument then. I half wondered, do I build this manually? Because this has got the installer in it. Do we need to build this? Um... Because this could be the mod that we actually need. And then manually install this. More to the point. Do I need to supply this as code? I need. I want to start checking licenses before I do that. Uh, have we got a license? We don't have a license name here. We don't have anything there. Do we have anything licensee? I do not like this. I don't like this because we have no explicit license on the code. Because what I wanted to do was build this mod. And then manually install it for people. But as that's not going to be the answer... That's going to be difficult. So, I mean, there's the install. We can, we can see that. Okay. Um, and by the way. Yeah, I kind of put this up. Like, in 2020. So, if anyone who knows mod development better than me has got some idea of of how to 
how to do this without the workshop, that would be wonderful. At the moment, I'm a bit stuck be between a rock and a hard place. So I don't think there are any other Cities Harmony nougat packages. Yeah, if I were to do that in there, yeah, we only get that by bow former. Um, well, let's have a, a quick butchers at their... Uh, so, I mean, this hasn't had an update since May the 24th, but that makes sense. Um, as the, yeah, the, the, they've done, you know, very little development on their, um, on their own website here, on, on their own GitHub, and yeah, their own, their own website is, it is rather minimalistic. Um, you're on Twitter, let's, Start scoping out Twitter feeds. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get that. Uh, is there any way I could that I could pop into chat and summon Cuboid? Well, I can do one better, actually, because I can go GitHub. I don't even know if Cuboid uses it. I mean, I expect that he uses Harmony, but let's check it for Picker. jump in there let's jump into pick a cs proj uh control f for harmony oh, he doesn't i don't think does this use oh uh, oh gosh no hang on old style project um all right that could mean that we have to go to a yeah i don't think this even uses it so that probably tells me that actually what I'm doing is nonsense. Because if Picker doesn't use Harmony, which doesn't look like it... It does reflection. It does it without Harmony. So that explains... That explains how Cuboid did it with Picker. Let's check, because that was an Electrics mod originally. Let's check with Move It. But I get the impression that we probably just doesn't use Harmony and does it by hand. Which would make absolute and utter sense. So, again, no real reference to Harmony in here, I don't think. Um, no, not in there. And if we go to no mod.cl or whatever our first CS file is going to be, let's say move it loader. Uh, goes to install mod. Goes to add the component. Um, see, I don't... I don't know how it would be done without more poking around than is normally allowed. But to not need harmony is interesting. Saying that... I only used it for one specific thing. I'm going the wrong way about this. I don't think we need Harmony for our test mod. I think for a simple... Let's say we're building a very simple... Um, what's it? A very simple kind of UI based. First off, let's fix this. But I think 14... Forcing harmony on people is the wrong move. I think we get rid of that. Uh, we get rid of this. I mean, this is all going to come back anyway, but you know what? Why not? Um, let's go for just, I don't know. Uh, pop a message box up or some, something in here. Just to, just to get the simplest mod possible. Because then we don't need to copy that across either. Um, we can go for something like path dot join or dot combine.
yeah just does that so literally i can get rid of that to do pretty quickly as well that's gonna be nice because now i'm not trying to be nasty hacky that's telling me no because i did need the build directory as well didn't i because we can't just combine one that's absolutely fine by me okay so we do at least have something quite nice of course this is windows only for the build script um and now how do we pop up some ui because i can never remember how to do this um but if we look up unity modding uh, or if we look up more cities modding um yeah there's the file formats there's the modding api um yeah just do an accept modding api is there yeah there's nothing really interesting there um okay time to play so we have unity engine.ui.dll. Let's. I wonder if we can get decompiler in here. Save me having to use dot peak. Um. I'll spy. That'll do. Give it a go. So what were we going to do with IL spy? Uh, decompile IL assembly pick file. Uh, let's say we pick that one and see what we get. So it'd be nice to not have to use dot peak. But I'm getting nothing, nothing back. Um. on the ground i'm getting nothing back let's just jump oh hang on i'll spy the s code i started the server it's done the request i'll spy decompile members it's there there we are right let's just pull you up a bit so unity ui have we got a message box or something I just want to throw up a very, very simple message box. Oh, so this is just Unity UI, isn't it? Why am I decompiling this? Why don't I just go uh, Unity UI message box and do something like that? How to do that in Unity? uh message box is a thing oh someone started doing that yada 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 okay editor utility oh, i don't want all of that nonsense all i want is oh okay uh editor utility dot display dialogue where are you based you are in you are in, I don't know where you... Oh, editor utility. I don't want the editor version. <sighs> Unity UI. Come on. Give me something. I don't want all of this nonsense. We've got buttons. We've got drop down. We've got... Text. We've got layout element -y things this is all in UN, uh, unity engine.ui and what mods create um bo message boxes by the way this is entirely valid you know to just go what mod does what i want it to do i'm gonna go and have a look at it so let's say node controller because it does are you on github are you going to be nice to me? I think you are, actually, aren't you? Are you? Uh, hot new feature, you can move corners anywhere. See wiki page, github.com. 
I like this the look of this. It, yeah, it, it's the kind of person that. Oh yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. Because this person is good, so let's go. No controller. Let's have a look at Util. Actually, hang on. Patches. I think somewhat. Yes. I remember this. Kian uses um, Harmony. Um, auxiliary files including the resources, the movie integration, and the Cities Harmony API.dll. And just uses that. So the Harmony loader probably isn't done the way that we were going to do it right this is interesting folks to me anyway and i'm probably wrong global suppressions oh yeah we i know what those are uh gooey oh, that's always a good place to go isn't it settings oh is it called a panel or something stupid like that key mappings panel is a UI custom control? Panel. Main panels. UI panel base is a UI auto size panel and an UI data controller UI. UI auto size panel. I think you might be the answer here. Where does UI auto size panel come from? You're going to be at colossalframework.ui. Nah, knickers. Okay, that makes much more sense. But you use Harmony and don't and and don't. Hang on. No manager.cs. Uh, uh, move it compatibility lifecycle. Where's the where's kind of the mod? Um, where is kind of mod.cs if you like no controller tool.cs is not that because that's key and tool base unless key and tool base is what we were getting now your tool base so this is all stuff I don't know about and I don't think I need to know about Is there a node con controller.cs? There isn't. Is there a mod.cs? No. So let's kind of try and be smart and say let's have a look at what's at the top. Oh, it's all compiles his commons first. So let's try that. Let's go and have a little spelunk into your decompiled sources ooh fun um nah this is common stuff for his mods I think um util patches harmony util okay so he uses ah he uses the harmony helper from over here so okay so he, he does do it the same way, it's just through a couple of layers of indirection. What we've learnt, though, is that if we flick open our... Um, well, we don't have the Colossal API, Colossal.ui. So let's go and grab that into, the, into this project. Um, Colossal Managed... Do you want to be decompiled? And we'll see what's in there. Let's let's go and let's go and do a little bit more spelunking around. Let's go and open up that folder because that's a good folder to look at. And there is no colossal UI, but there is a Unity UI. Oh, hang on. Colossal manage. Let's just dot peek this. Uh, let's zoom in so that you can all see it. 
ColossalManaged.ui. Hello. You look interesting. UI, what are we going to call it? Is it going to be a panel? Is it going to be a dialogue box? Is it going to be a message box? Don't know. UI panel looks fun, though. Well, you could be a UI panel. This is where I start threatening to break things. Right, well, actually, seeing as we're in here and we've got that, let's play with it. So let's go... Um, let's actually just kick around in here. Uh, in mod.cs and go... Um, Lossal framework dot UI dot well there's nothing message you like there. What have we got if we go for box? Nothing of interest. What have we got for panel? We've got a dynamic panels, we've got a UI scrollable panel. We've got a window? Nope. UI view. Hang on, colossalframework.ui. Can we just get some docs on this? How to use... Oh, hello. We have something. We have something very, very... That's better. We can, we can see it now as well. That's handy. So... The UI view is the main class for the UI, so you go and grab the view. If you're adding a new one, it has to be added to the UI view. So let's set up... Um, set things up. So can we just grab up a box of some form? This isn't actually helping me that much. Which is a bit of a so and so. Um, hmm. So if we're adding a new one, it's added to there. Well, hang on. Let's kind of go back up a few layers. Let's go back to Cities Harmony. Because we saw. And if we go in the code and into API, subscription warning, we saw that show has reasons there. And then we need to uiview.library.showmodal. I wonder, I wonder if we're just going to drop lucky here. And go, oh, I don't know, something like this. UI view dot library dot show modal of well, let's have a look at you. Can I just grab some docs? Please? You want to show a panel name? Well. I'm happy to try this out just for just for something interesting. Um, exception panel, we'll call it that for whatever reason. Your message takes a title, a message, and an error. Uh, your mod. Nothing is bro is broken. Um, what's the false? The false is whether it's an error. Show modal exception panel. Why do you take a name? Well, let's not worry. Let's just try and do the build. So let's build and install this, which it will. It should be absolutely fine right now. And there we go. So if I just jump across the Steam, fire this up, without workshop support which is important 
I will hit play. I mean, I'm happy to download the code for when I do my mod without workshop support. But I don't want to do anything else right. Error. Skylines mod dot mod dot enabled. Uh, internal invoke. Okay, so something went wrong there. Because that's not what I wanted to pop up. So let's disable that. And then enable it. Goes nothing is broken. Okay. So let's disable it. Quit the game. Fire it up, re-enable it, quit the game, fire it back up again. This is unfortunately why I'm not a fan of doing mod development on stream a lot. You will see that you load in so many times. Now, if there are any other mod developers out there that know of something that I'm doing that's incredibly stupid, please do let me know because I am probably doing many things that are incredibly stupid because I'm not a professional modder. I don't know how to do this stuff at all. So we are loaded back in. Let's go to Content Manager. Uh, mods. Let's flick, my, flick this one on. Nothing is broken. Cool. Kill, kill. Exit game. Um, and we'll fire back up again and see what the issue is. The issue could be that I just haven't overridden the right thing. And that we need to we need to do more before we have a working mod. I'm very very much in the belief that that is possible. So let's fire it up, firing the game up, uh, loading. I mean, we're only loading to the menu screen so far, but that should be enough to demonstrate a few things. Uh, null ref unenabled has gone to a null ref. So we need to we need to check it. Um, let me suggest that that isn't there, uh, that library isn't there. So first off, let's do a bit of cleanup. Let's say that we will import UI view, um, which should be as simple as going that it'll moan i will then go using that then i'm going to assert that that exists go that that might not because ui view dot library might not have come out yet so on i enabled might be the wrong place to use ui view Um, what other things have we got? We can have on created. Uh, I use a mod is that. Okay, so we've got the options of on created, on level loaded, on level unloading, on released from there. Um, and where did on enabled come from then? I'm not entirely sure. But UI view, let's kind of go back and see. I mean, this is now where it gets interesting because we can see in here actually what's going on. So we can go to UI view. Um, we can look at... Wow, this is this is pretty big. Have we got library somewhere? You're there. And it's gonna have to pull that in. So you go get a view. So when you call this, it goes to try and grab a view, and if it doesn't grab one, it gets nothing. So it can return not because we don't have a view. 
So how do we check these things? Well, let's go to usages. Navigate to um, navigate to no. Find usages was just below. That's better. So who uses you? Because this is where it gets interesting. API does and does it there? And the answer is that um, it's going to check. It does the null check. And if it's null, it adds intro loaded and level loaded handlers, which do the checks. Okay. So that's that's how that works, and that's called show once is called where. Where are you called? On install harmony workshop item, and you are called in. Let's find usages of that. You call that. You call that. And I think that this is called quite a way up the road. You are called, yeah. I think these we call in the um, enable. So we could ideally kind of pinch an amount of this. This looks a lot more than I necessarily wanted to do but again just to sort of show without any errors let's sort of let, let's do that let's go there let's say that we're not going to do, to find that let's save that let's grab a few bits and bobs um I don't need that either I don't think but I think we do need to use Colossal Flat Framework. Subscription warning dot show. Well, that's not what it's going to be. Let's cut that. Let's go um, public static void dialogue. Let's bang it there. Let's then suggest that we just go, um, that can be dialogue, because by that point we know it exists. So let's just copy that line, uh, paste it those couple of times, cut those out. Uh, those, except those handlers, again, let's just take out the um, class name. This is a lot of work just to build one um, one small thing. That's that's one issue that we do have is obviously when modding, you do have to put a lot of work in to do one little each thing, and then we just here go show once in on enabled. And the theory is that if we do a, a swift build on that, it should build and install for us. And when we fire it back up in Steam, it should be fine. At this point, I think, apart from working out how to change the um, working out how to change the dialogue to be one that's not too bad, one that's more informational, I think we're at a point where we can claim to have at least a base project that, for Windows users, is just download and run. Your mod, nothing is broken. Cool. Exit the game. That works perfectly. So now we just need to look at what um, what we want to add. So we see that show modal is there and used there with something like class exception panel. So let's do a find for that. Um, oh gosh, no, let's do it up here. 
Show modal. So UI dynamic panels, you have something on you called show modal, I am sure of it. You do goes to that one true, which is bring to front. That's the typed one, UI component, uh, panel name, what does T have to do with it? Okay, so that shows a different kind. And then this one goes panel name, how is panel name used, cached panels, there, so, okay. Let's just kind of guess at things here. So that's an exception panel. Where are you located? I don't know. But if I go panel and see, oh, I don't know. Let's guess at information panel. Because there's got to be just an info panel. There's got to be an info panel. That looks good. And let's just guess that it needs the name to be correct. And then what do you have on you? You have broadcast message. You have send message. And you take a... Oh, gosh, no. Um... What does info panel have then? Well, here we go again. We'll go info panel. Because we might as well. Which is in here somewhere. Which I don't think you are. Um... You know, let's kill that off. Let's go exception panel. So that's what it was, wasn't it? It was exception panel. No? Okay, class info panel, which is a tools modifier control. What was exception panel? Let's do it this way. You are a menu panel. What menu panels have we got then? Um, can we find out implementations? Not through there. We can't really. Um, But menu panel is a good place to look. Maybe. Maybe not. Why am I not? Why am I completely blanking on this? Have I just not got the right things loaded in? Where does this live? Colossal Framework dot UI, which is in here. It's it's in here. Um, or are you in another DLL as well? Because I don't see. I think you might be in another DLL. I think that might be very possible. Let me open another one up. Let's fire up. Let's let's go deep into this and let's open that up. Um, that's got nothing in there that's of interest. Let's. I'm just playing about opening more and more of these up until I hit pay dirt, basically. Assembly C sharp dot DLL. That might have been what I wanted then. Um. Exception panel. 
is there. Okay. <clears throat> you are a menu panel. Let's find usages of. Or let's find. Um, Don't just want, I don't want it to come up as an exception. Info panel. I'm just, I'm, I'm just getting confused now. So you have M binding, which is buying property by key, tooltip helper. So tooltip helper is precisely what. Let's zoom in again. You're just data binding again. Um, on message change, UI labels and scrollable panels because you're a UI. You're a menu panel. Menu panels have awake, start, uh, create creation of items and stuff like that. None of which is overly handy. Well, do you know what? Set message is not... Let's see if there is anything in Assembly Explorer for set message. Confirm panel, exception panel, wait panel, tutorial advisor panel, timer confirm panel. And what a confirm panel thinks it is. Uh, you have the show modal on you. You have title and message. So, I think we could possibly play with this, and then it's yes or no. Um, okay. So that's what confirm panel is. Tutorial advisor. And hi there, Brainless Society. How are you doing? Welcome on in. Brainless, how good are you at modding cities and do you use Harmony? Because if you do, you can help me a lot, <laughs> I think. So, yes, welcome on in. By the way, um, do you stream Brainless? I get the feeling you probably do. I can't remember. I'm a bad streamer. I can't remember any of this. Hmm. Tutorial advisor panel. Oh, good. There's a lot on that. Wait panel. That could be fun. Uh, you think you understand me? Your AC is a bit loud. You no longer play cities. It's been like two years already. Yeah, but you've done mod development. I know you have done mod development. I do know this. Show modal does that, yeah. So a weight panel doesn't seem to have too much of an issue. Let's try it with a weight one. And if we do a set message, you're now going to moan and say that you just need to do that. So let's do it that way. Let's get you built. Ah, all right. I, I, I won't do shouty-outy things for you, Brainless. By the way, how's life in um, Cassie's basement? I have to ask. Fire up cities. I really wish there was easier and quicker ways to do all the testing for this. I really do. And, and and how is the polyphony factor going on, or do do we do we go hush and not ask that question? Because hush and not asking that question is fine. Oh, you rusty oh well. Ah, right. So we get nothing has broken come up in this panel. Um, then okay. Um, I disagree right now i think that if i'm having to do this something is broken 
So who uses one of these? Oh, Could look at the intersection marking tool code. So what do you have on you? You have that. You have a set message. You have show modals. The show modal could just be the set message. And how do you dissipate then? Because that's the interesting part. Uh, who uses you? Who uses this? Uh, weight panel dot hide is there. Of course, weight panel dot hide is there. I suppose we could just stick it up for a few seconds and then kill it again. Wow, that's that's a file. Um. Weight panel wasn't even found in oh in the section. Hang on, in the document. Unity running in Linux gives you issues. I'm. Do you know what? I'm not even firing Unity up. I'm just doing it with. Oh, brainless. Have you seen? This could be interesting to you, and this might stop you needing Unity. I think, and I'll I'll publish this up and let you try and build this. Um, you'll need to fix your fix the install folder if you want to do the installation of a mod. But have you seen this little package? So if you add this package, it drags down all the reference assemblies for .NET 3.5, so you don't need Unity on Linux. Because you can just do a .NET build with that target framework, and it'll work. Yeah, let me let me get you a link to this. Just, I, I, I haven't tried it in Linux. Well, let me just go jump us across to there to grab that. Um. But yeah, so you'll be able to um, build using .NET Build. And you just include the .NET 3.5 framework. You include that package reference and magical things happen. So I would argue I'd try that before sort of resorting to Windows. Because at some point, I will probably off-stream try and make this work cross-platform and make it so that you can just pull this template project down and build a mod off it. And, and it'll just do all the all the nightmare stuff for you. So, yeah. That, that's that's going to be attempted. Um, but for now, why don't I do something sensible? Go in here, go um, var panel equals that. Uh, okay, so let's. Because I think that returns a T back. It does. Then we go panel dot set that message. Uh, I no need, longer need to null check that. Oh, Windows and Unity is for something else work related. An app that another term is developing. You want to be able to test your back end with their app. Cool. Fair enough. Just, yeah. Just in case I could find a way of avoiding you having to do the Windows thing. That's fine. Um... Unity wait time, uh, wait four seconds. Uh, 
Okay, that's coroutines. Do we want to play with coroutines? For this, do you know what? Why not? Start co. Yeah. I wonder if we can make this an, a, a mono behavior as well. I might be doing silly things now. Brainless, tell me if I'm doing silly things. I am probably doing silly things. Uh, Unity engine, why do I not get this? Um... Yeah, the, the syntax yield return. Okay. Where does mono behavior live in Unity Engine? Because I don't see why that should not live there. Um... What's it going to argue with me with then? It's going to tell me that mono behavior isn't there. Sure. Uh, you've just been playing with it since last week. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so how to do weights. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can't. Okay, I know what's going on here. Um, let's just have it this way then. You're now going to be a mono behaviour, which is fine. It's an inheritance issue. Um, and this is all going to be here. So we actually go from there to start. Oh, gosh, start. Uh, do you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's go. Hmm, stuck. Um, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That can go show once, that's fine. That doesn't need to be a coroutine. That's going to be the mono behavior. That's going to have a one of those. That's going to be a show coroutine. Routine. I can't type public static show. Um, all right, void show. Um, brainless. I'm not that's not yet developing the mod itself at the moment. All I'm doing is a bit of a bit of work to make mods easier to develop by producing a a very much a starter project. Once that's done, then I'll be building a mod that is aiming to aiming to get data out of of skylines. So yeah, I'll do the boilerplate first, but then trying to get um, information out of city skylines so that it can go wherever. So let's say we go start coroutine should now be in there. Let's 
Chakra Routine Unity. Yeah, it should be there. And coroutine is that, or weight and print, which is that. Okay. Um. Which is privacy I enumerator. That's fine. Okay. And I'm just going to make you static because I can't be bothered not doing. Um, thank you very much, Brainless. I also, I'm not going to be interacting with disasters because I'll, I'll leave that to you. Um, but one thing I will be doing is interacting with the outside world. So, yes, please. Do you mind if some of the code ends up getting shown on, on stream as well? Because, I mean, hit me up if you want on Discord at some point, And we might be able to work together on a few things. Or I can kind of tap your experience. Just so that we can make a few things more interesting. Let's, let's go as far as that. So at this point I'm going to say we're going to, we've got the I enumerator show coroutine here. Show coroutine is not it, that's a problem that's now moaning that it needs to be um okay so these now need to not be this um stuff a blank constructor in there that's fine uh that now needs to not be static to work that doesn't do anything so we'll do a yield return in here uh thank you very much brainless let's do a yield return by the way brainless was one of the main developers brainless and kiggy on the mod that was used in the disasters in a snap at the end of last year so yeah Bra brainless has got some idea what he's doing might deny it but he genuinely has uh i might want to speak to one monsieur kiggy yes you might be right mings heroes i might and I probably should. Brainless, you make the same claim I make. And you and I both know that you know things. It's me that doesn't. Um, wait for seconds. Let's say two. Uh, you take a... You're a non-invocable member. What the devil? Um, what actually are you? Oh, you're a... Wow, um, yeah, just a bit of history on this and why we're doing this this janky way. Async await wasn't around when Unity needed coroutines, so they janked them in. And this is how they janked it in. Um, because at this point now, we should be able to... Really? Really, keyboard, what is going on that makes you think that tab should be going through the through the controls and not through let's just tap a few buttons a bit. Tab is just not doing what it should be. Why is tab not working in VS Code today? That's not good at all. Um, it's code, tab, and key not working. Um, oh, control, shift, M. All right. Something's happened at some point. Um... Tab moves focus okay for some reason that was enabled and now tab works correctly so we can now go panel dot hide or dot close or what the flippity flip is happening here so what does weight panel have on it again yeah, it's hide. Oh, hang on. It's a static hide. Wow. 
Wow. Sure. So, is this really what we're... I mean, sure. And then obviously these all need to be... Um, and yes, this is horrible coding practice right now, but I'll, uh, I'll fix that problem. Oh, is... You know what? Let's do it this way. Probably um, private dialogue, dialogue. Yes, you're going to moan all you like. Um, then we go Control D those. Do it in small dialogue. Oh, I know a lot of people like to use the underscores, so I will do the same. In fact, hey, this is, since I'm doing it publicly, let's have it as M dialogue, because apparently that's the Unity coding convention. I know that it's a load of nonsense. I hope that the rest of us do. Public Void Show, why are you now moaning about that? An object reference is required. Of course it is. Static. Or, let's actually be semi semi nice peoples here and take the statics off there actually that might not be the right move um on intro loaded let's just grab that go there on intro loaded doesn't even show anything up wow um Okay, so you must have come from somewhere interesting. Let's say loading extension base. I loading extension. Yeah, you've got on level loaded, on level unloading, on unreleased. Okay, that's fine. So you're not forcing static. That's good. I use a mod just has that. That's good. Okay, we can work with this. I, I, I think I do, Brainless. I haven't used it in a long time, but I think I have GitLab. Ooh, um, let me drop you a DM over Discord at some point. Does that, does that work? Because that's what I'd like to see. Thank you much, Lee. Right, anyway. M dialogue here is not set. And I bet I can't just do new dialogue here. I will bet you can't. I could be wrong. You might now be able to do that. I was convinced you couldn't just do that. I was convinced you needed an actual constructor. Um, Try a build. Well, I've learned something new about c -Shar. So let's get that installed in. Fire that up. Uh, let's grab this. Let's run it. I don't know if you can get a more basic mod than this that actually does something other than absolutely naff all. Let's hope that what I've done here works so the pop-up should come up stay for two seconds and dissipate let's hope now living on hope is never clever here but hey it's the best thing we've got so and i think after we've loaded this up and had it work
Whoa, what's going on here? Um, I've just, uh, yeah, I've just had to kill that. Um, that was bad. I mean, we could do that. And I'm sorry. I refuse to go along with that whole naming convention. Right, let's rebuild that and give it another go. A public void show once. Who calls you? You do. Let's reinstall everything again. Let's give it another go. But I'm convinced that City Skylines firing up with no with no workshop should not take that long on this machine. It just shouldn't. By the way, Brainless, I know you've done that mod. Did you have to fire Skylines up like this every time you wanted to do anything? Or am I, again, am I missing a trick? Right, that's come up. Is that mod actually enabled? It is. So why has that not done anything? Okay, so that's, that's not good. You know it's possible to update it on the fly, but on Linux you were unable to do so. But there is a trick. Ooh, I need to learn this. In fairness, as soon as I use Harmony, that trick will disappear on me. I'm convinced of that. Start code routine, show code routine, public void show. I do call show, don't I? I do. Uh, yeah, please do chat for that one, Brainless, because I'd be very interested in it. Just out of interest, I've hidden the hi I've got rid of the hide. Let's see what happens when we don't hide things. And believe me, I want to make that trick work on Linux if I can. I would love to start hot loading DLLs because then I could bang cities on one monitor, the code on another, and just start doing hot loads. Content manager, uh, mods, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Disable, re-enable. Okay, I can't remember what's supposed to be static and what isn't. So, on those grounds, let me go and do a little bit of cribbing off one that I have made before. You are override voids, you are not statics. Okay, so... The idea that you were static is probably wrong. Which makes me happier. And overrides from created and unreleased. Void on enabled and these are public. These are the loading handlers, so that's okay. So we grab those, show once, pull calls that. So in fairness, we could just do that. Dialog dot show dialog does exist. Um. I don't think that that is actually valid. I think we need to do this the, pro the old way. Public mod, no parameters. Dialog equals new. Dialog. 
Fire, thank you very much, Ming Rose. Yes, I have been streaming for a while. I probably ought to have a break at some point. And that's probably not what you were hinting at. Um, so again, I've got the weight panel hide commented out. So I'm going to have to... In fact, let's put it back in. Let's, let's be brave and claim that that should work. Doubly fun. Let's just make you public and assume that you are needed. That you need to be public. No, you were hinting at Feed Me Seymour. That's exactly what I expected you to be hinting at, Minxy Rose. Without doubt. So we'll, we will look at food reasonably soon, I think. I just want to get this running and just to show that we have a semi-viable thing that I can bang up on GitHub that does a thing and that i can say to people if you have a mod that you want to write and you want to do it in the windows operating system here is a setup that will help you and whoa okay um intro load all ah, right intros loaded i think we're back to that um mm -hmm. Well, not only is it kind of important to create one, because normally I'd say it isn't, but on this, we are. I do want to pull this out. Wait for seconds, real time. But it does the show. It doesn't even do the show, does it? So let's. Let's do this. Let's try it again. Because I don't think we should just be loading into the intro and hanging. But I think it's hanging on my code. And obviously I don't, I really don't want that to be the case. Because that would suck. That would suck very, very, very badly. So... So, yeah, Mingsy Rose, drop me a, a message on, let's say, Facebook. What sort of dates are on the stuff we've got in the fridge at the moment? Because it's the 15th today. Have we got to eat anything particularly quickly? Other than, you know, the mushrooms. Now it's getting to this point. This is further, isn't it? This is further. Oh, then simply change the bottom two lines in assembly info.cs to make the game auto reload our mod while running. Interesting. Uh, no, Brainless, I, I, I don't ban on links. Um, if people send me a link and it goes wrong, then we have a problem. I'm not going to... Yeah, I'm just going to say to everyone, don't click links in chat. Unless we know that they're safe. Because I'm not going to prat around setting it all up. Right, let's let's suggest that we're not going to do this there. Because that's causing me a problem. So let's just not bother. Let's say you've got to do it when we load up. And yes, I know I'm commenting out code that I probably ought to delete. I can't be bothered. Again, fix it at some point. Fire up. This time, before any of our code executes, I assert that we're going to have to either go into the game or just do a disable re-enable. So we're at the Class Lauder logo, the Paradox Interactive logo. In the Into the menu. Okay. So if I go mod off, mod on, Bang. Um, mono behavior dot start co routine. What? What? Really? I've got to prat about at, at dialogue dot show. 
at the coroutine. Um, here we go. Here we go, folks. This is what happens, people, when you don't know what you're doing. Unity, let's go and have a look for coroutine. I enumerator wait and print. I enumerator start. These are coroutines. I agree with these. Yield return that one. Yield return you wait for seconds five. I understand these. Okay, so these are internally accessible. Well, I've just made mine public for the love of it. So where is my null? You've seen similar messages, brainless, when you forgot to include the DLL from, e from an external library you were using. I'm not using anything, well, I'm not even using Harmony at the moment, so this is all... Why has this got the Harmony stuff built in? Because this shouldn't have huh? Why have you all of a sudden decided you want harmony? Um Okay. Okay, got that lot done. The code likes to be peaceful. Ah. Uh, you're now moaning that MS Build cried. MS Build is crying because... We don't have things. Okay. .NET. Restore might be handy. Um... Let's .NET restore the right thing. Let's now do another build. Excellent. Let's now just do an in a build and install. Pops API wrapper. Who's he, who dragged that in? I don't know. Someone did. But we should only need to copy across the Skylines mods because everything else is from the game. Go on, let's fire it up again. Uh, the, 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 this is Gareth Code. Error messages are a common occurrence because Goof, yes. Yes, Gareth Goof is a thing. Gareth Goof is very much a thing. Um, but no, I don't think I've got any external library. Well, I'm sure I haven't. But hey, you never know. I might need to copy across the colossal UI, the colossal framework one. I don't think I do. Am I aware that I don't need to compile the source myself? Cities will automatically compile any source in the staging folder. So all I need to do is develop in that staging folder. Nice. Um, I'm not convinced I like that idea, to be honest, because I want to compile it. I, I don't know. I like the workflow of me doing the compilation. So disable you, re-enable you, go boom. I bet I'm not getting much information out of that dialogue, but hey, why not? Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, you let cities do it for you rather than... That's cool, actually. So, it at... It's in there. It's a system... No... So, let's have a glance at that line. 
of it and see if that gives me anything. Uh, the script or the game object it's attached to has been destroyed. Um, oh! We created this with a new, didn't we? Oh, this is the whole you can't do new stuff. You have to attach to game objects. Oh, flipping heck. Flipping, flipping heck. Uh, game object. How do we work with game objects within here then? I mean, that I think is the problem. Uh, because, of course, this doesn't do it because it doesn't do that part of it. Um, game object is there. It's telling me to go away. Um, cities, skylines, mod, game, object. Uh, it is possible to create game objects dynamically as well as mono behaviors. So game object dot create primitive dot new dot instantiates So let's say game object there. Come on. Dot add component and you are yeah you're not well you're obsolete as well. Can Gareth you can find this? Okay, you've got a um what's it? You've got a straight straight up constructor. Uh, game object dot find. Can we have a game object dot kind of root thing? Because loading extension base doesn't give me one, does it? No, can't get one out of there. I use a mod, doesn't give me anything. Um, why is just showing a message box so hard? So that does all that malarkey. That is to derive to get it in the content manager. Cool. Uh, uncreated. We've got all this on different threads. Wee! I bet we dropped a load of a load of frames then. Um, so we start one. We've got that. We've got the main thread goes up there with a whatever manager. Ooh, yeah, of course we can call it with managers, can't we? Uh, on release or not? I managers. 
going to be nothing that just goes grab me a game. Is this going to be a flaming singleton? Are we talking singletons? Uh, deserialize game object. In fact, let me let me remember to be a streamer and do that. So we can create one. We can create one simple. Just a new one of name. I wonder. I just wonder if the simple answer is correct here. Let's try it. Let's say that we're just going to create one randomly. Uh, and then go, let's say, no, this is, this is getting silly. Why is this getting so silly? Why? Um, of course, you need to be... I just control dot in this, create that to that. What are you? You are can't be used before declared. What the Oh yeah. Cause I'm being clever here, aren't I? So Yeah, it's possible to create them dynamically and use the standard callback mechanic that Unity provides. Cool beans. Skeleton source. Have we got something? Oh, so someone's actually already made basically this thing, haven't they? Oh, no. Um, my eye, whatever. Loading extension base is just that. Chirp log, whatever the devil chirp log is okay you're not a mono behavior neither are you internal chirp.cs you're not a mono behavior either so i don't really need that to yeah Okay, so what's going on here? What's going on here indeed? So let's again go and have a look at, oh, I don't know. Go and have a look at... Um, Just to see, uh, cuboid, is it CS? Because I'm sure he will have used a game object somehow. Why can't I find cuboid there? Can't I shall summon cuboid's code? Can't, might not be able to summon cuboid, but I can summon his code. You know what? CS find it. Let's have a hmm. Let's have a look at move it. At some point in here, must have been used. Yeah, at some point, game object must have been used in here. No. Uh, mono behavior? No. Right, that tells me I'm going completely the wrong way about this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look at the IM intersection marking tool because you come up with a... Oh gosh, hang on. Yeah, no markup. Cool. Because you do come up with a... Um, 
walks it, you come up with a dialogue that is just okay, don't you? Uh, loader. Because uh, you've got all the settingsy stuff in there, which again I'm not going to do for this. Um, oh yeah, all the early access calls are gone. Um, UI, UI utils. God, this has got to be simpler than that. Message boxes. Simple message box. You are from message box base, which is a UI panel. So actually he does it from scratch. Do you know what? On the grounds that I really can't be bothered with that, what I'm going to do is revert this all back to being the exception one. Just because this is too much of a pain to do any other way. Um, private void show. Does unfortunately mean that if we do it was this, uh, your mod, it's working. False because you're not an error. Take out the dialogue dot there as well. Uh, kill off this whole class. And I think we might as well. Yeah, let's grab that back as well. Let's build that. Install it. And give it a quick run up. And if this just works, I'm going to leave it like this. I know that the dialogue doesn't look great, but hey, it's it might never look great. That's fine. Probably be fine. Especially as we are kind of over the amount of time I normally stream anyway. So, class loader, fire up. What I'm hoping is that we get the yellow triangle box. It would have been nice to have done our own message box but yeah, we're too in that is too that's more than enough to say that this works right so this being said let's grab ourselves a git ignore file um i don't know if autosave on pause had one but there is one way of finding out it did well guess what i'm gonna do i'm going to steal my old one because why wouldn't I? Um, dot. Get ignore. And we don't get a test result dot XML, so we don't need it. So that's fine. So we have a very, very basic Skylines modding template. So let's do get in it. To get that there let's have a look at the files that it wants to put in i agree that all of those do need to go in so let's go git commit initial commit um yeah we've got the readme as well um oh get add dot then all right Commit those, and I will... Oh, that's on the wrong branch name. Um, change... Uh, change git master to main, because I far prefer doing this. Uh, so, oh, go away, stupid thing. Oh, it's just a rename. Okay, so let's go and have a look at what that does. So, okay, it's apparently not going to give me that help. So, let's trust the random website. 
That's correct, actually. So, I now need to push this to GitHub. Have I got a GitHub extension on here? Can I just go um, create on GitHub or something stupid like that? GitHub, GitHub. Yeah, it, it's kind of what we use now instead of Master Brainless. So, I, I, I'm going with it. I quite like it. You're not getting into the main train. I'll stick with it. I, I, do you know what? I'm happy enough. If people don't like it being called Master, if one or two people, if people would prefer it to be called Main, I understand the concern, and honestly, for how little work it is for me, I'm more than happy to do it. Oh, there's a GitHub CLI. What the f is this? Because it might actually be kind of what I want. Oh, God, it's Winget or Scoop or... <sighs> GitHub. Does it have destructions? Because I might actually end up doing... Oh, God, you've got to do all the auth login and stuff. But can I do git create repo? Repo create, you actually can. Okay. Um, do you know what? Let's play with this. Run a terminal as an admin. Let's go... GitHub CLI, that's a guess. Not installed because it wasn't found. And that's because it's just git gh. Okay. Cool beans. Um, it didn't actually. Um, it came from a lot of different people, and then GitHub embraced it. Um, they they just embraced it because it was happening. So install is done. Let's go there. Uh, there. Refresh. Env. Gh. Um, log in. Auth login to github.com with a web browser. Uh, we'll have this one time code, which, you know what, if you lot decide you're going to dox me, then that's on you. But you apparently didn't because I beat you all to it. So that's fine. I will confirm that password. I will not add that to last pass. We're all done. So we then go HTTPS will do. Yes. Do that. And of course I was in the wrong one anyway. So let's go back to here. Uh, refresh EMV. GH repo create uh, skylines. What did we call it? Modding template. Modding template. It's now going to say it can be public. Uh, yes, do exactly that. Um, Git push. Yeah, let's do the whole set the uh, upstream. And unless I'm much mistaken, we now have a sky lines modding template.
which looks very much like that. So now that we've got that up there, I think I need to mark this somehow as a template repo. Apparently you can. Um, settings. Template repository so we can generate new repositories of the same directory structure and files, which means I can do that. Cool. So the modding template's done. Um, I was going to get to work on grabbing some information, and as a lot of people know me well, I might as well do the traffic because it'd be funny. However, I think we've ran for, well, we've ran for three and a half hours nearly tonight. Um, Minxy is, I'm sure, wanting some food. I am also wanting some food. So with that, I will try and hunt us down a raid target. How well I succeed, who knows. Uh, let's see who I'm following at the moment who's online. If anyone's got any suggestions of who you'd like to raid, please do let me know. Uh, I think I've got the answer. Hardliner is online. I am Hardliner. He's a wonderful Rush streamer. Um, he is working on a actor framework in Rust at the moment. He dropped in early, earlier in the stream to be a wonderful person. So I think we should please hold on. We will go across and say hello to Hardliner and watch some more programming being done by someone who actually knows what they're doing. So thank you very much everyone for being here. Uh, please do hang on for the raid. I'm sure Hardliner will muchly appreciate it. Thank you very much Mingsy Rose for sticking that raid call in chat. I am going to do a decent and copy that so that we have it. Um, have a wonderful rest of the day as well. Thank you very much, Brainless, and please do, like I say, hang around for this raid. This is Gareth Hubble. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm off. See you all later, folks. Ta-da!